Hey there guys, Urban Suburban here. Another video for you. Tonight I want to show you the Hazard 4 EVAC Plan B bag. And this is the bag that I had a preview video on a few weeks ago, probably about a month or maybe even a little more than that. Uh, basically when I first picked this bag up, I've now been using it as my EDC bag, um, carrying it basically every day since I've gotten it and uh, I've had it and used it enough to uh, get a good feel for it, uh, decide what I like, what I don't like, form some opinions and uh, I think I'm in a position now where I can tell you guys whether this is something that uh, is worth uh, a purchase, whether it's um, uh, I guess the cost is worth the uh, quality that you get, all that sort of thing. Basically whether it's a good bag or it isn't a good bag. So start out with, I'll go over some of the quick specs for you. The overall length of this bag is about uh, 20 inches, just under 20 inches, by just under 9 inches wide, by about 6 and a quarter inches deep. So it's a fairly narrow bag, which is kind of nice uh, when it's across your back. It's not going to be sticking out uh, past your shoulder shoulders or your hips or anything like that. So especially in an urban environment where you're maybe in crowds, especially this time of year at the mall and there's uh, just a million people in there or say you're at, uh, you go to a hockey game or a football game, walking around in the city, uh, whatever. Anywhere where there's big crowds, you're not gonna be whacking people with this because it's not sticking out past your body. It's nice and narrow, so that's nice. While it's narrow, it's fairly deep. Like I said, over six inches deep, so you can still fit a fair amount of stuff in here, which is really nice. Uh, this is, of course, the ATAX AU version of it. Uh, it also comes in a multi-cam. And the camo ver uh, versions of this bag are in 500D Kodura nylon. The solid colors, I believe it comes in black and a coyote tan, are in 1000D. Uh, I am very happy with the 500. I think in most most situations for most bags 500 is plenty uh, i find of course it'll the bag will be a little bit lighter being 500d but mainly it's just softer i like the feel of it um it, it's not um stiff like a lot of max Edition stuff is not that that's necessarily a bad thing i just i just like the feel of this it feels really nice and i think 500 is more than enough in most applications especially as an edc bag or something like that uh, I mean, if you're if you were to wear this thing in a combat role, um, you're going to be deployed for six months, something like that. Okay, maybe you want a thousand D, because that's like almost literally bomb-proof that stuff. I think 500 would still hold up just fine. Um, it, that's just my preference. I, I like 500 D. I, I think it's it's more than enough in most circumstances. But anyway, like I said, the camos are in 500. The solid colors are in 1000 denier Cordura. All the zippers are YKK, so really nice and smooth, no issues there. Um, we'll talk about the padding on the back when I flip this thing over, but um, just really, really high quality. The stitching is all really good. As you can probably see on the, the Molly here, stitching is all really nice and heavily stitched. Uh, Anywhere where there's like a stress point, you can maybe see here, you got the X and box stitching. Uh, it's great. You can see here they've, even the handle, the webbing here, they folded it over, stitched it up so you don't have a sharp edge. It gives it a little extra strength there. Just quality on this is uh, fantastic. That, that, that's the thing that probably impresses me the most with this bag so far is just the fit and finish and quality it is. It is um, as good as anything I, I've seen in a, a nylon uh, type bag. Um, as you can see, on the front of the bag, two pockets. Uh, your top one here, two zippers or two zipper pulls, just opens up into one uh, sort of hand size pouch. No dividers or organizers or anything like that in there. I was throwing my. Uh, First aid kit in there and a few other things. It has on here a Velcro field for throwing on uh, morale patches, flag patches, name tapes. If you're gonna throw a name tape on there, you can see if you got a longer name, it's 
a fair amount wider than the actual f field is, but of course it'll stick anyway. It just sticks out a little bit. Not a big deal. Your main pocket on the front here is basically what would be, I guess, consider your admin pouch. Inside here you have basically a spot for, there's two pen spots, two little bit wider ones. And then this pocket down here, kind of interesting, as you can see, it opens from either side. If you have them both open, it's just sort of a pass-through sleeve. And I believe that this is because, as this is a sling pack, uh, if you whip it around to your front over your chest to access it while you're wearing it, depending on what shoulder you have your strap on, is going to determine which side of this is up. So basically you can set this up so that either way, whether you're where it is a lefty or as a righty, when you have it swinging around to your chest, you can open this up and still have it as a pocket basically with a bottom. So stuff's not going to fall out. This will, that side will stay closed or that side will stay closed. Anyway, so that's basically your admin pouch. That's the one, to me, the one drawback of this bag is an EDC bag is I would have liked to have seen a few more, uh, a little bit more organizational capability in it. Uh, for me, for my EDC bag, I tend to carry a lot of smaller stuff, a number of pens, uh, a pocket knife, like a folding blade of some sort, flashlight, uh, first aid, whistle, lighter, uh, notepad, all that kind of stuff. So I like to have a few more po pockets of this this style, just a few more. If they could maybe throw or had thrown something on the inside of the of the uh, cover here, like 511 did, they had the two sort of basically magazine pouches. I don't use them for that, but that would make this basically the perfect bag for me. As it is, it's still a damn good bag, but if they you just utilize this space a little bit, even, even a mesh pouch or something on here, that would have been awesome. But they didn't. Still a great bag though, no doubt about it. So there's the, as I whack this camera all over the place here. Of course you can see Molly all across the front. Top of the bag here. You got a really nice grab handle compression strap and then access two different access ports here you got the zippered one and sort of the more typical velcro port and of course these uh, go into this back panel here which I'll open up and show you here now this is of course for your hydration you got a loop here for hanging a hydration pouch it'll take a full-size hydration bladder there's of course your for your ho drinking hose, which will come through either here or the Velcro side. Now my understanding is this Velcro one is actually for your um, hydration hose. And you can get a nice big bite valve to fit through there, no problem. This, you can access it, well both of them, either from the hydration pouch in the back area or the main compartment of the bag. And I understand that this is actually designed to or a uh, radio antennas or rifle barrels, something that you got in there that's longer than the bag, but it's obviously narrow enough to fit through here. So apparently that's what that's for. Also the hydration uh, pocket here, as you can see, the back panel is all Velcro. So if you wanna throw a Velcro holster in there or something like that, that'll work absolutely fine too. Back panel here. This is a thermoform foam backing. You can see lots of uh, spots for airflow here. Really comfortable, really nice. Uh, gives it a little bit of support, but it's not rigid. I wouldn't call it really rigid. Uh, it's just really, really comfortable. Both sides of this bag are the same. As you can see, uh, compression straps, two on each side. Uh, they give you plenty of strap, but they give, also give you the Velcro retainers here so that you can fold it up and get it out of the way, which is really nice. Of course, Molly, the full length of the bag. And then each side also has one of these sleeve pockets that's elasticized at the top. Because this bag is not really big, of course, that limits the size of this pocket. You're not going to get a full size Nalgene in there, but something like this uh, 591 ml Gatorade bottle 
basically fits perfectly in there. Uh, also, the sort of half size or 500 ml Nalgene's, they fit basically perfectly in there too. But a full size, the one liter Nalgene's, they're not going to fit in here. They're just, the diameter is far too much to get in these pockets. And like I said, both sides are identical. Uh, the shoulder strap, really wide. That's got to be a good four inches wide. Um, shoulder strap padded with nice breathable mesh, a nice uh, soft foam in here. Uh, you got some molly, some loops for your hydration hose, nice PVC patch hazard four logo there. Um, and then one pretty cool feature is the buckle on this is lockable. So if you have this down, this isn't going to undo, you pop it up, unsnap your buckle. Kind of a cool feature. Nice and big, very easy to operate, very positive click. The webbing down here, full two inch wide webbing. You got a D-ring here for grabbing for if you want to shorten or lengthen uh, your strap. And of course, it's ambidextrous, ambidextrous if I can say it properly. For uh, if you want to switch shoulders, you just switch that over. The bottom of the bag also has a nice grab handle and a full two inch wide compression strap on here. That is one monster compression strap. So you, you got these really nice grab handles on both sides of the bag, top and bottom. And that's for when you're wearing this thing on your back, across your back and you want to whip it around to your chest to gain access to it without taking it off, you can pull it either way. You got a handle at the bottom, you got a handle at the top. So you can pull this thing either way to get it to your chest. Works really well. Let's open this thing up here. Show you the main interior portion of the bag. Opens all the way up. As you can see, just one big area in there. On the back, you got this mesh pocket with elastic on the top. And the top half of the uh, flap here, you also have a, you have a zippered mesh pocket, good size mesh pocket here as well. I was throwing sunglasses, um, sometimes my phone, that sort of thing, but it's the full width of the bag and then uh, a good six or seven inches deep. And basically just a big wide open area here. Uh, this bag does come with one Velcro divider, so you can pop it in, and it's the width of the bag, so you can place it anywhere in here. I don't have it with me, uh, but it's Velcro, so you can wherever you want it. Hazard 4 does sell those separately, so you can get a couple of them if you want to have this compartmentalized for whatever reason. Uh, a lot of people use this as a camera bag, so if you want to uh, have your lenses in a spot, the body of your camera in another, and maybe batteries or something, you can divide that all off, and then those dividers are padded so it protects your stuff and because they're velcro obviously the interior here the sides this is all velcro so any velcro pouch or velcro compatible pouch is going to stick here you want to throw a holster right here whack there's your holster uh, some of the new vanquest pouches there they are they're going to stick in there they're not going to move so that's kind of nice one other thing that this bag uh, typically comes with that I don't have with me because I don't use it. Not that it's a bad idea, but it comes with a stabilizer strap, which attaches to the, the uh, attachment point that you're not using for your shoulder strap. So it attaches to the opposite one, and then it will go up, the other end will attach to a D-ring on your shoulder strap. And that's just to go across your torso uh, to prevent this bag from sliding around if you're doing something really strenuous or uh, sort of a high movement activity. Like I said, I wore this thing as an EDC bag to and from work, out with the kids, uh, grocery shopping, whatever, wherever I go, wherever I normally have one of my EDC bags, I wore this. Uh, a couple hikes. Um, I mean, I wasn't doing any mountaineering or anything crazy like that. No jumping out of planes with it. But normal day-to-day -day stuff, uh, some hikes through the bush, no issues with it sliding around whatsoever without using that stabilization strap. Now, if you were to go do some scrambling or you're going to do some bouldering, some light, uh, 
mountain climbing, whatever, like something where you're going to be moving around. Um, for, a, for some reason, you want to go jogging with this thing, anything like that, where strenuous activity where you're doing maybe a lot of lateral movement or stuff like that. I can see where that compression strap would be nice. And uh, cause then there is absolutely no way this thing is moving off your back at all. Uh, and it does come with that. I just don't have it here cause I, I've uh, never found the need for it yet. But like I said, that is included. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, like I said, to me, the, for my purposes of this, with this bag, the only downside was I wish there was a little more organizational capabilities for smaller items. Um, outside of that, absolutely fantastic. The fit and finish, the quality, um, the design other than the small pockets is fantastic. Like I said, I, I don't know if you can beat it. Um, as an EDC bag, I kind of wish I had it in black or something a little more neutral uh, than a camo, but I got such a smoking deal on this, I just, I could not pass it up. Um, like, literally could not pass it up. I got such a good deal on it. Um, and anyway, I think what I'm going to do with this, as I said in my preview, is I'm going to switch out uh, the bag I have in my truck right now for my get home bag and use this since because the bag is so narrow I can jam this under the back seat of my truck and no one will see it sticking out because it won't be sticking out so anyone that looks into the back of my truck through the windows they won't see it under the seat which uh, of course will hopefully dissuade people from breaking into my vehicle to get uh, whatever's in my pack um, when I do that, guys, I'll, I'll uh, do another video and show you what I'll have it all in it for my get home bag, my truck bag, that sort of thing. But we'll make that a separate video. This is just, we're going to focus on this bag for now. And like I said, guys, fantastic bag, well worth the money, even at full price. Uh, we're coming up to the Christmas season now. It's actually, it's Black Friday right now as I'm taping this. Uh, I'm sure from now until Christmas, you'll be able to find this thing on sale probably all over the place. Like I said, even at uh, regular price, it is well worth it. Uh, the quality is, uh, you're, I don't think anyone's going to beat it. There are a lot of really good uh, bag manufacturers out there right now. Competition is really steep, and the uh, the big name guys and a lot of actually smaller companies now are building really, really good stuff because they have to. Because if they don't, there's uh, a lot of other companies out there that'll take their spot. So, like I said, Fantastic quality. I love this bag. Super comfortable. Uh, I think maybe the most comfortable. The strap is so wide, so well padded. It's just amazing. Uh, anyway, guys, like I said, Hazard 4 EVAC Plan B. If you're in the market for a sling pack, definitely check it out. Hazard 4 also sells uh, regular two strap backpacks, messenger style bags. Uh, they have a number of uh, Molly attachable pouches for all their stuff. Check them out. Uh, they make really, really great stuff at, uh, at a reasonable price. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. That's it. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.